seen things you people wouldn't believe. TV so thin to make the latest iPhone look fat. I watched organic light emitting diodes glitter in the dark near Brandenburg Gate. The promise and beauty of OLED TVs have never been up for debate, but now there's a question that rises to the surface. Would it ever be available for us to actually buy? Uh, as of right now, we have not made specific dates public because we're still in testing phase, but if all goes according to schedule, we hope to have OLED TV shipping to specific markets in Europe, North America, and Korea uh, before the end of the year. Over the years, electronics trade shows have seen Samsung and LG fight a cold war over OLED TVs. Sony has even been part of it. Every year we see something new. We see them grow ever larger, ever more sophisticated, ever more beautiful. But they never made the leap. Large OLED screens are very difficult to mass produce. What we have been working on, and other companies as well, is how to get the yield rates to be higher. We know how to make it, we know the intricate the physics behind it, but it's actually churning them out in an acceptable number. That's always been difficult because obviously cost is very high when you don't have large quantities. Although conventions like EFA here in Berlin are usually great predictors for the next technological change, when it comes to OLED TVs, they seem fated to serve as the stage for a crew exhibit of an elegance and beauty that will forever remain out of reach. The fact is that we, we have them. I've seen them in large quantities. It's just a matter of getting them in, into consumers' homes, living rooms. It's definitely here to stay, and it's something that we're betting a lot of money on. It would not be a big part of our strategy if it wasn't real.